Hey everybody, Adam here for True North Wilds. I have September's box of the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Walleye Edition. Um, species specific box. You can choose walleye, bass, uh, saltwater fish, panfish, uh, all, all sorts of different things from their website, mysterytacklebox.com. It is a pretty good subscription box overall. I'm very happy to see that I got September's box in September and not next month. I, of course, uh, I got August's box in September as well, which wasn't uh, fun because everybody else has got their stuff and I'm missing out. So, step in the right direction. Hopefully that was just a, a blip in the system and this will be a trend that continues. So, excited to see what I got. So what kind of new uh, walleye gear that I get. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and we'll take a look. So, <clears throat> these boxes are always jam-packed full of stuff. Fintech, oh, I actually, I like Fintech and I'm a fan of their knuckle jigs. These these are uh, SS Minnow Swim Spin Jigs. These are kind of neat. So they got the uh, nice gold color and they got the uh, the trailing little sort of blade there. They got, you know, bait holder hooks on them. Um, not bad. That nice gold color gives it a good bit of flash. They got a little bit of red in there and they got those trailing blades. So. I personally haven't had a ton of luck with jigs that have these blades on them, but I also can't say that I've used them a ton. The ones that I have used, like I said, I haven't had a ton of luck with. Holy man, these are taped in here. Um, but it's not going to stop me from trying, and these, as long as they're good quality, you know, I'm not gonna not try these. This this might actually be decent for the green back run. They got a nice splash of uh, I don't know if it'll focus or not, but they got a nice gold color, and they got a nice splash of black on the top, and they got the red on the fin there. And they got this blade, and one thing I like about this blade is that they actually have the fin tech <laughs> as a splash of color. They have fin tech there in red across the blade which is kind of neat. So not too bad. Uh, that, uh, that'd be worth giving a try for the for the walleye. Greenbacks around here especially. Uh, the Lunker Hunt. So I've gotten a few of these between this box and, and others. And these are really cool baits. They are... Uh, so... Lunker Hunt. True Spin. These are heavy lures, and they have a really nice painted pattern on them, all the ones that I've gotten. So you can see this quite realistic. They got that really nice, you know, the tail and the fins are all detailed, the face. They got a little bit of splash of a, a color around the mouth, and the eyes are really nice. So the nice thing about these is they're small, but they're heavy. These, the one last one I got was a full ounce. This is a... 13 sixteenths of an ounce. These things, just the shape and the weight, they cast like a freaking bullet. You cast these a long ways away from you. So it's good when um, you're in clear water and the fish are being spooked easily by your boat or, or by where you're standing or whatever the case may be. You can cast this a long ways away. It's good if you know that there's a drop off or a shelf that's a little ways away from you that you can't maybe can't get close to or, or there's a reef or something you can't get close to. Um, you can you can cast this over there and you can target it pretty easily. Just the weight of it and the shape and it's small. It's easy to get into those those hard to reach places and it's easy to get away from yourself. They sink fast, so it's easy to cast over a drop off or over a shelf. Let it sink down to the bottom and pull it up and do that whole, you know, that whole drop or that or that whole shelf or whatever the case may be of what you're targeting. Very good lures. I've caught lots of fish on these. Um, Something to keep in mind, they're very easy to lose. Because they sink so fast, I've also lost a lot of these on the bottom. So just something to keep in mind. They have this nice blade, which as they're sinking and they sink fast, that blade is fluttering behind them, making that flash. And as you're reeling it in, of course, that blade is fluttering behind it as well. These, these trigger a lot of strikes. Always happy to get these. Um, they just have a lot of different uses. All right. So we got the hunch. Catchco, the hunch. So this is a. This, up. this is an interesting looking one. 
It's got a nice color to it. So it's got a sort of mix of colors. It's sort of bluey purple on the top. It's got the black spot. It's got a nice yellow line down the middle. And it's got that really steep um, diving lip. But it's not very big, so I'm guessing it's fairly shallow, does it say? Oh, it's a, it's a, so it's a suspending lure. Dives four to six feet, so it's sort of a shallow, medium shallow type of lure. That's why you get the nice steep lip, but it's fairly small. It's got some really heavy beads in here. It has a pretty good rattle. They, uh, they're heavy beads, but they don't have a lot of space inside. You can kind of see inside, and you can see the beads. But they, uh, they don't have a ton of space to move, so you don't get the really heavy thunk, thunk, thunk. You get a nice sort of, more of a higher pitched rattle, which is pretty nice. And they give that a little bit of weight. So overall, that looks like a decent lure. Interesting color, like, uh, usually, I don't know if it makes much difference. Usually I see the purple on the top, and you get the, sort of the blue into the silver. This is the blue on the top, and it goes into the purple, which goes into the silver, which I don't see very often. I don't know how much of a difference that'll make, or if it's actually more common or not. It's just something that I noticed about it. So, looking forward to trying that out. Got some plastics here. So this is the Net Bait Contour Worm, the Clear Lake Special. Three and a half inches. These are pretty nice looking. So Net Bait. It's a brand that I'm not familiar with. Holy, they have a strong scent to them. I could, as soon as I opened the bag there, I got a whiff of it. Um, that strong licorice sort of sm smell that uh, so many plastics seem to have. They're very heavily salted. They got a nice sort of flat, flat worm sort of shape. They're flat on the back and they're sort of that ribbed round worm shape on the top. Looks sort of like a, like a centipede or something crawling on the ground is sort of what it reminds me of. Nice color. Sort of that natural brownish worm sort of color. Um, the plastic is a little bit soft for my liking, but not too bad. I'm not sure that uh, we'll have to see how easily that rips, but overall not too bad. I, I really like the color, and it's definitely got the scent. Uh, next, we just have some uh, more plastics. The Z-Man, ten times as tough. Scented paddle, scented paddlers, coconut ice glue. So the Z-Man, they are scented. They have a, they have an interesting scent. They have more of a, more of a fishy scent. Or, or, it's definitely different. That's, uh, it's it's almost like a scented with Procure Super Gel, made from 100% real bait. Doesn't say sort of what it's supposed to smell like. Of course, they're not going to give up their ingredients or anything like that. But it, it smells like bait. Like it smells like a fishy smell. It's not that normal licorice smell that I'm used to. So that's interesting. Now, this is kind of cool. It's a jointed plastic. So I've never seen one of these before. Let's see if I can get it to focus. I don't know if you can tell. But it's got the joints here. So the plastic actually has the bends in it. And I'm assuming it'll move side to side, much like a jointed crankbait. It's got the paddle tail on it. And it's got a really nice color. It's got that pink and that white. Pink and white around here is always a successful color. I mean, you just can't go wrong with that color usually using it with jig heads or, or crankbaits or whatever, but as a plastic, I'd say that's going to have a really good chance of catching something around here being that color. And just really interesting to have that sort of uh, molded in joint. I've never seen anything quite like that. It's pretty soft feeling. They say on the package that it's ten times as tough. It feels soft to me, but I'm not. doesn't feel like it's going to rip easily. It just feels like a very soft plastic, but Stretchy, doesn't doesn't seem to want to rip easily, so interesting. Looking forward to trying that out. Definitely like the color, and I definitely like the scent on that thing. 
Uh, we got some advanced drop shot hooks. So just some basic tackle, which is always nice to get. You can never have too many hooks. You can never have too many of any of that basic sort of stuff. Swivels, hooks, bobbers, that sort of stuff. We have the Aima. So it's a Japanese design. Aima Lures. This is a fairly large lure. The Deep Fry 95, suspending shad minnow that gets deep. Diving depth of 12 to 15 feet. So that is a deep diver. So definitely a good walleye lure. This will be a good pike lure around here. If I can get it out of the package here. So this is pretty nice. Sort of your basic... Um, perch color. It's got the, you know, the reflective silver underneath. It's got sort of the green, green on top, and it's got the perch sort of stripe pattern. Pretty basic color. It's nothing, nothing spectacular that I haven't seen before. It's sort of your basic, basic reflective perch. It's got a heavy bead in there. Makes a pretty deep sort of thunk. Some sharp hooks. I keep hooking myself. And you can see, of course, that really big, wide nose for diving down really deep, really fast. So, nothing wrong with that. Looks like a pretty solid deep diver. Uh, I'm sure I will catch either walleye or pike on that. The Deep Fry 95. And lastly, of course, in the box we have our stickers. I always like getting stickers. I put them on my tackle box. This month I got a cool fish. That's a uh, pretty neat for a sticker. Usually they're little cartoons and mascots and such. And the Dibble Digest. And as I always say, I appreciate that they put these little Dibble Digests in here because they have 10 pages of actual articles and one page with advertisements. So being a uh, subscription box like this that puts in so many different brands and so many different types of lures. They could very easily just stuff this full of advertisements for all the different things that are in the box. They don't need to do that. They let the lures speak for themselves and they just put articles in here. And I find them actually quite informative. So for example, this one has why throw poppers, dock fishing 101, why tungsten, three baits to imitate, match the hatch. Um, and the, you know each one will be a couple pages. And I find them informative. I read these all the time and I, I always learn something out of them. So I always appreciate those. Overall, Pretty good box. Um, mainly I'm just happy that I got it on time. I got it actually in the month. As I was mentioning earlier, it's a September box. I got it in September. And as far as the contents go, I mean, I can't complain. I always get really great stuff out of the Mystery Tackle box and this month is no exception. So thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit those buttons down there, like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment if you want, leave some feedback, it always helps out. You can follow us at facebook.com slash truenorthwilds get daily uploads of pictures, videos, um, the odd giveaway, all that fun stuff. Follow me on Instagram at True North Wilds. And if you like to read, I like to write every now and then, so I have a blog at truenorthwilds.ca. So you can stay tuned, don't miss any content. So again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you outside.